All right, guys, welcome back. First and foremost, I would like to apologize for taking such a long break in between uploads. I had a lot of things going on in my life, and I just needed to uh, get a little more organized before getting back to this illustration. So let's just jump into it. One thing that I like to do after I've put an illustration on the shelf for an evening or a day or two is I always come back and I make some adjustments, stuff that you usually don't see at the time of drawing that you want to go back and adjust later. Another thing with this particular illustration is I kind of worked on the shading layer throughout the entire illustration. So that's why you see me jumping back to this now, adding a few more highlights and shadows. So let's create a new layer and we're going to call this the uh, muffler layer. And what I'd like to start doing is uh, we're going to start with filling in this gap that's going to be very dark. So essentially the background of this layer, just a very dark base that the, uh, the pipes will sit on top of. So just a quick shape there. We're going to change this, bring up our color picker and change this to a really deep dark gray, almost black. All right. So to get that out of the way, we'll just hide that. And now I'm going to bring up my lips tool or L on your keyboard and just draw a simple ellipse, kind of elongated. And then now we will use our selection tool to go in and adjust it a little bit, create a stroke that's easily seen. And I'll just rotate it, just kind of like we do when we're drawing the wheels. So we'll rotate it, kind of make our little adjustments. That way our circles are nice and smooth and even. Now, one thing I started to do here was I started to draw each one of these pipes individually, which you will find out later on in the video is actually a mistake. So you can watch me fiddle around with these individually, knowing that you don't have to do this. So once I get these two looking similar, I'm going to turn off the left side and just focus on this right side here since it's in the foreground. So we're going to go ahead and use our pen tool to just outline a rough shape since it's kind of hard to see for the pipe. And then I want to come up and grab the gradient tool or G on our keyboard. And once these little crosshairs come up and you are selected on your gradient, feel free to just click and drag to get the angle that you like. Now we want this to look like a cylindrical pipe. So we want a highlight in the middle. And on either side, we want to be a little bit of a darker gray. And uh, in order to adjust those, just click on the color there and double click on it to bring up the color picker, adjust your gradient, and then you can go back and kind of draw the angle of the pipe that you would like to see. Make sure that the shape that you drew is selected. Otherwise, uh, you won't be adding a gradient to that. Now we'll take that drag it underneath the two ellipses that we drew earlier. And another way to select the gradient is to use the greater than symbol or select below there on the color picker. And now you can just kind of change the angle of this so that the highlights aren't exact on the pipe and the, the highlights on the tip are a little different than the highlights on the pipe itself going back in and just making some adjustments to the color. Now, in order for this to look a little more realistic, I'm going to go ahead and lighten this up a little bit because we're going to duplicate this circle in just a moment, line it up almost exact and shrink it a little bit. This will give us the illusion of having this circle be a little bit more hollowed out to represent the muffler pipe. Great. So we'll select all of those. I'm actually going to just move this to the left. Once that's positioned, I'm then going to copy it on top of what's on the left there so that it sits on top. So now all you need to do is come in with your direct selection tool and adjust these points. They don't need to be exact since it sits underneath the other, uh, the other pipe. And this is really small on the entire illustration. So it's good to 
maintain a certain level of detail, but also not as important, say, on the taillights, which are the main focus of this particular illustration. So going through and making sure you have your gradient dialog box up, you can adjust these highlights and shadows as having white as the center highlight of this point is quite bright. So we would like to bring that down a little bit, double clicking in your fill color while gradient is selected to bring up the color picker, and then readjusting the angle of the gradient to match the, uh, the pipe color. Sometimes it takes several, several tries to get it right. All right, that's looking pretty good. We'll darken that up just a fuzz. And that was very simple. So as you can see, adding that gradient just onto four simple shapes and adding a gradient to two of those four shapes really gives the appeal of a metallic look and a cylindrical look. All right, and then here, just to close out this video, you can see that I'm constantly going back. I'm not trying to necessarily hide anything from the viewers here. I try to show as much of the illustration as possible. So you can see, even after I've finished with one step, I'm constantly going back, making adjustments and changes. I do find that uh, white cars can be a little bit more tricky to uh, color in depending on their tone. So this, this particular Civic has a very warm tone, almost off-white and yellow at times. So I can, uh, I've gone over and even seen here that I have forgotten to add a few more of those detail pieces on the body. So in using the gradients, I am now able to add a little bit more photorealism in some of these shapes that are rather important, but you wouldn't really think are that important because it's part of the wheel well. Now to close out this video, we're just gonna end with a little bit of a time lapse and speed art on finishing up the body panels of this Civic. I was originally planning on adding the wing to this video, but that uh, now that I go back and look at my screen recordings, that took about 45 minutes to draw, and I would just hate to cram that into the end of this video, seeing as how we are already at eight minutes. So in the next video, we will go over the wing, and then after that, we will finally start on the taillights of this Civic. The uh, reason I chose to draw this Civic particularly was uh, to focus on sharpening my skills for the taillight, especially that passenger one that's just staring you right in the face. I've had a few requests to uh, provide the JPEG images of these cars that I'm drawing. So what I encourage you to do is go follow that car artist on Instagram if you don't already. I've also just launched a Patreon account, which I will link below. And in Patreon, I intend to make all of the images, the raw images that I draw from available for you guys. Uh, my intentions for starting Patreon also was to keep the Adobe, the Adobe subscription going and to save for a tablet so that I can provide new and fresh content later in the future. As always, thanks for watching and hitting that like button. It really does mean a lot. And if you're interested in more Adobe CC tutorials and other car related nonsense, consider subscribing and hitting that bell. Also, be sure to check out those Instagram and Patreon pages, which are linked below, and I will catch you guys in the next one.